Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to make the login system and secure the authenticated pages from the user and admin in our car rental project. So let's get started. So in the previous video, we made the registration system, which is after successfully registration, it is redirecting us to the login page. Now we are going to see how to make the login. So let's go to the code and inside the login.php here we have email and phone and one login button okay and inside the code.php we are going to process this so go to the functions.php not functions code.php and over here say else if is set of dollar underscore post dollar underscore post of login button so once the user clicks on login button we are going to take the email and password from the login form so over here you can see we have the email and password so just copy that email say dollar email is equal to you can just take it from here my mysql i real escape string email and password copy paste it from the phone and here we are just going to write a query dollar login query or use the double quotes okay and so let me just zoom in a little bit yeah say select star from users where email is equal to dollar email and password is equal to dollar password we also have one more criteria in our database you can see is banned so if we have banned any user he should not be able to log in so by default this is zero that is active okay so once you register a user his is banned status is zero so we have to add this criteria also in the login query say and is banned or we can just add this separately first let us check if there is any user with that email and password and then we can show the customized message that just because you are banned you are not able to log in just the variable query run mysqli mysqli query pass the dollar con and login query we can limit this to one say limit one if mysqli num rows of dollar login query run is equal to equal to one you can also put it like greater than zero you just have to check if it is not equal to zero if it is having a record with that then we can check if it is if the user is banned or not and is ban is equal to zero So we have already got the user here right so we can either use this or you can use the user's id and check it anyhow login query it's not login query now it's check ban query and this is the check ban query run pass this or here if my sqli num rows is greater than zero so if this is true that means if there is a record in this then the user is not banned because his banned status is zero so we are going to log in the user successfully else we are going to redirect him to the login.php say redirect login.php and the message we are going to give is your account is banned account is banned by admin or you can say your account is not uh, active please contact admin anyhow you can just customize your message but if the user is not banned and he's a active user then we are going to store the user's detail in our session variable so over here i'm going to say dollar underscore session of user 
first let us fetch the user's details so that would be mysqli fetch array okay because we have given limit one this will have only one thing so you don't have to loop it using the for loop you can just use this and this will get you the details of that user store it inside a variable called dollar logged in user and over here you can say dollar session of user and here we can store the email name and other things whatever you want to store email dollar logged in user of email similarly we will have the name name we have the email we have the name and we can also store the phone in case we need it phone and the login status or you can just keep that in a separate session variable say dollar underscore session of is authenticated or login auth let's keep it auth equal to true so we also have to store the user's role so let me say role and over here let's see what variable we have i mean what is the field name role yeah say role and what do we have in our database role we have user admin okay so let me browse you can see we have registered two users and both are uh, by default user so you can like manually edit over here and make any user as admin and now whenever you log in with this credentials you will be uh, redirected to the admin page and you'll have the admin privileges and whichever user has this role user they will not be able to access the admin pages but they can access the authenticated user pages so we have stored it over here and you set the auth equal to true now we can redirect them to the home page with the logged in session so session is logged in right so you can see the logout button in the navbar because you are logged in and we will also show the user's name over there say index.php login successful you can also like add logged in successfully or any customized message so this looks good this is the login and here in the index page we have the navbar right let me just add some code over there so instead of this drop down link we can like show the username over here if the user is logged in so i will say php close php is if if is set of dollar underscore session of auth so if that is true this if condition will become true and here we are going to display the user's name echo dollar session of user name okay you can like directly hide this nav item itself because once the user is not logged in we don't have anything over here to display so just put this li inside this if condition Let me just align it properly yeah and open php and close the if condition over here okay looks fine and one of this will be logout button say logout refresh so you can see if the user is not logged in we are not getting that we can just add one more with the register we'll add the login also login login.php refresh yeah register and login so let me just log in with my credentials so it is logged in successfully and redirected to the index.php you can see the username which i specified over here it is showing over here and the logout button 
but you can see the register and login page is still displayed over here which we don't want to do because we are already logged in right you shouldn't be able to view this login page without logging out first so you can put this if condition over here and push these two things inside that if condition close the if over here yeah so now once you are logged in you will not be able to see the login and register what's wrong okay we have to check if not logged in add a not over there refresh yeah and over here also we have to like check the condition on the login and register page the same thing you just have to put it inside the login page copy and paste it over here redirect to the index.php and say please log out to log in with a different account or you are already logged in you can just put anything on there you are already logged in and even in the index page we need to display the message or we are not able to confirm if it is displaying that correct message is set or not so in the next video we will like set this globally so we don't have to do it manually in all the pages save refresh call to undefined function redirect the login.php just you can include the functions.php also so it is showing over here and it has redirected us to the index.php so if i even try to log in from here i mean just access the login page from the url it will redirect me back over here and once we set the logout only then we will be able to go to the login page let me just add that in the register page also okay we just added this if condition i can just remove this too yeah this looks better uh, please log out to register new account you can just give that please log out to register new account and now let us do the logout so for the logout we are going to create another page over here called logout.php logout.php and we are going to redirect the user to the logout.php for logout you can do this via form submit also that is also the same thing so inside logout.php we are going to so here we have the login button so here we are setting this session which acts like the authentication for us so now we are going to unset this session when we are logging out so the authenticated pages will not let the user access them so here we are going to unset the session unset dollar underscore session of user same way just try the session of auth and after this you can use the session destroy so this will destroy all the sessions so for the safer side you can also use this unset and then redirect the user back to the login page or index page so we'll do it to the index page redirect to the index.php with the message logged out successfully to use this function we need to include the functions.php okay and we need the session start over here session underscore start 
okay save now refresh you can see i have i'm logged in over here right when i click on log out i am going to be logged out and the login and register button will be visible over here so we have logged out successfully but the session message is not displayed because of the session destroy so you can like just remove that save refresh let's test it once again login successful refresh log out logged out successfully okay yeah so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to make the login system in our php and store the user detail in our session and authenticate using sessions so in the next video we will be setting up the middleware which will decide if the logged in user is an admin or a user and depending on that the access will be given either to access that page or not so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you